Hey guys, so as many of you know, Lottie Files has recently introduced rotation and nested elements within the Lottie plugin. So Figma to Lottie plugin now supports nested element and ro rotation. And we're going to be creating the animation that you actually see in front of you. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is, and you need to know is, let's say if I just go ahead and animate this. So imagine I have a dial here. I just wanna go ahead and animate it to, let's say this position. Would this work? Like, what, is this supposed to work in your opinion? Actually, it, sh it does not work fine because if we have a look at it, as you can see, when it's rotating, it's rotating from the middle. It doesn't really know. Like Figma does not really have a point, have an idea of an anchor point or a center point when, it, when talking about rotation. It basically just chooses whatever it is. Uh, obviously, the center point as its center point in terms of rotation. So if you actually want to rotate it from let's say this particular point, which we actually want to do from this particular point, what you need to do is you obviously, first of all, we're gonna do some modifications. So, okay, so this is our inner dial. And what is the height for this inner dial? Let's just say the height is, actually, let's just fix the heights. I don't really like these random heights in, in illustrations. So let's just say this is 48. So now I'm just gonna create a frame and I'm gonna say the height is gonna be 90. So now if I try to rotate it, as you can see, this rotation is perfect. It basically matches the rotation that we actually need. Actually, let's just make it 100. So 50 by five and let's go to our element here and we're gonna say this is going to be 100. <clears throat> so now let's just see if this looks good. We have this, this is 100 and this is Actually, this should be 50. So let's just go ahead and make this 50. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna similarly do the hour handle, which is gonna be this one. Let's just copy the color and we're gonna paste it here. We're gonna say this color is going to be this and actually this and the height here is not going to be, let's say 50, it's gonna be 25. Similarly, the height for this is also going to be twice the height of the hour handle, which is going to be, let's say 50. So now we're done with this. Now we're going to basically go ahead and actually import this here. We're going to say this one is going to be here. Similarly, this one is going to be here. And now if we rotate it, it should work. So we're going to say that the time right now is let's say 1135 or something along those lines. So let's something like this. And actually, I personally feel like this should be a bit taller. So let's just go here and make it maybe 60. And if this is 60, obviously this needs to be 30. I think this might be a bit better. Like that particular size was looking a bit way too less in my opinion. So that's done. Let's just move it behind, center it. Okay, that's done. Now what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and duplicate this. We're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it here. And here we're gonna say this is just going to be somewhere here. This particular thing is obviously going to be, actually this is fine. Here, this particular one is just going to be here. Okay, so our time is up and we're gonna go ahead and actually play this. So now as you can see, this is perfectly crisp and exactly the type of rotation that we actually need. Now, before we go forward, I would like to let you know that I've recently introduced my premium Figma Noob to Pro course that's gonna help you take your design skills to the next level. It has topics covering from the basics to advanced topics like auto layout, prototyping, components, you name it. So if you really wanna take your design skills and not only just design skill, but your earning skills and earning potential to the next level as well, definitely go check out the course link in the description. Additionally, I have a voucher code for you guys as well, especially my subscribers and viewers. If you use the AM subscriber voucher, you're gonna get a 50% off on that as well. Okay, so now that that's done, we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate things. So once the timer reaches that particular point, what, what we need to do actually is so this is going to rotate. Actually, the one thing that I actually need to do is I'm just gonna bring this up, all of these things a bit upwards, and I'm gonna rotate this by pressing shift. So it's rotating at a perfect angle of let's say 15 degrees, then this is going to be 15 on this side, this is going to be 15 on this side, and at the end, okay, so it started from here, then here, then here, then here, and at the end, we're just gonna say it's gonna to return to its original position, which is this one. So I think our animation is done. Let's just go ahead and link these frames together really quickly. There you go, there you go, and this one, and then the last one. And now we're gonna open our Lottie Files plugin. 
actually one thing that I, and I, I can actually demonstrate it in the Lottie Files plugin, which is something that that's really important, I think. Uh, let's just have a look at it. So export flow one, and we're gonna go ahead and export it. So basically it looks like this. I think right now it's really slow, but I think the gist is there. So we've we've achieved what we actually wanted to achieve. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce uh, the time it takes for these animations. So I'm just gonna select them one by one. This one, this one, this one, and then this one. And I'm gonna say this is not gonna take 500. This is just gonna take 100 milliseconds and we're just gonna go ahead and refresh it. Now, as you can see, this animation is done. I think in this last one, maybe it can take 500 milliseconds. So let's just go ahead and do that and now refresh it. Yeah, I think this looks good. And that's how you basically go about and create an animation like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.